Alrighty guys, welcome back into another AFK journey video. Today we are going to be knocking out two honor ghouls. I will keep the camera up and we will have commentary for this so that I can kind of explain the moves that I'm doing. I had a couple of you guys request that and I will oblige. So let's go ahead and dive right in. In this first phase right here, um, what I've been doing, and I will do a full compilation video on this, I've been taking screenshots of what each of these do when they rank up, so that way we can see the choices that they give. Because when we're starting, it doesn't show us here. If there's another way to um, see what they can evolve into and like which uh, factions their, their passives are good for, please let me know uh, if there's like a... Actually, you know what? Is there a collection or anything that we can look at? I can't go back right now. But uh, that's kind of like where I'm at right now with this. Uh, on this first place, I kind of look off of these to see what I want to build the teams around. I know a lot of people have conflicting ways that they do honor duel. Um, some people like to just buy all the characters and never sell them. They like to do two, three different teams, building them all up. I'm a little bit different in that. I, I, I disagree with that, that kind of uh, setup and I have made it to rank one on two servers now this will be the third one uh so we will see if we can get up to rank one on this one i haven't done honor duel as much on this server but because we're going to be doing content for it i might as well try to get up to rank one so we can do the optimal content for it so let's go ahead and take a look at these Larkspur restores all allied heroes 200 energy once every five seconds Allied heroes damage dealt drops 25 percent apart from the ultimate damage so obviously we can see this one is going to be based off of characters that are using their ults a lot and their damage is output by their ults. This is good for, uh, I would say, a couple different synergies. Light, light Bearers is a good one. Uh, if you're running uh, either Muriel or Vala, both of them uh, get a lot of damage off of their ults. But uh, let's go ahead and check out these other one. Proud Grease increase the attack speed of one rearmost hero. I try to avoid anything that is just based off of one hero, to be honest, because it, it means that we have to get lucky with that hero and we have to get like their optimal equipment early for them to be truly effective in the battle uh, for this artifact. A lot of times it's RNG in this and you can't really force the perfect teams or force like getting a mythic early on of a specific character it just doesn't work that way um, i'm sure there is ways uh, that we can figure this out into the future but right now i have not figured that out in terms of just forcing a specific single character or really utilizing something like that the next one is going to be crystal dew restores all ally heroes without equipment uh 100 energy and grants them 7 9 11 basic stats after battle starts based on hero tiers so another one where it just requires us a kind of quirky mechanic to just have no heroes at all. I mean, no equipment at all. I don't really like that. Out of, out of these, I'm, I'm not a big fan of all any of these three. Now, the reason I like going for this one so much, and if you guys have watched in the past, I usually go for this one, is because we get 70 of the honor badges, which in my thought process is, depending on the relic that we get, we in the first turn we can either equip everyone with an item basically as long as we get five characters off of the first like you know pull that we get on that but other than that or we can get two of the full 33s like two of these if we refresh and get lucky and get another one so this one right here we get the allied carolina's basic stat okay so this one's based off of her based off of graveborn so we are obviously stuck with um, basically sticking to Graveborn on this one. We didn't get any Graveborn right here, so we do need to refresh. Okay, we got lucky. We got one, but this means that we are not able to get the second one unless we roll and we get lucky and we can sell someone to get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this and lock this since they're the items i do like both of these items to start with and we're gonna hope one of these refreshes to a grave born all right so we did get lucky now we got to make a choice um right now we can go in with no healer i think that should be more than okay because we are not going to be using our healer on the graveborn team after the fact 
So we'll go ahead and sell our Rowan and we'll go ahead and pick up one of these. We are going to lock one and pick that up. All right, so it got us some heroes. So this first turn, we're not going to have any equipment available. Um, we did get enough to do a full Graveborn team, but without a tank in the first round, I feel like it's a little bit risky. Probably don't want to go that route because they may have items. Uh, we will have a better synergy, but they may have items. Uh, they have... This is a pretty annoying relic right here all the deployed heroes lose 20 percent of their hp when the battle starts restoring 200 percent energy 200 energy so they're going to be ulting pretty quick um here we want to obviously place our tank on this top side right here because if they can place more heroes we want to have that kind of countered uh, we'll go ahead and do like a heavy front line because our goal is going to be protecting our carolina uh, so that way she can start popping off so we'll go something like this. He's going to move around. He'll kind of just soak up this right here. Okay, because they put them in the back, I'm almost positive that they're going to just add everyone over here. So our goal is going to be taking out one of their damage dealers fast enough before Rowan can start healing them. Carolina is going to be back here to be protected. And we'll probably do something like this uh, to just take her out. We don't want her ulting too quick and then we should be good we're not worried about her ult. it's just going to cause some pushback which we have only one character we care about getting moved the other ones are going to move back in uh, we should be good to go with something like this yeah so we, we took out their tank pretty early and she gets her ult off, so we should be good to go in terms of winning that one. I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at the actual like damage real quick. Because I want to see um, in turn who was doing what. So she got knocked out pretty early. She was pretty useless in that fight. Uh, that was my bad. That was positioning of her. I didn't, I didn't realize that tank was going to go right there. Oh, we got lucky again, man. I, this is a, that's a huge, that's a huge round right there. Um, hopefully we get a Thorin off of this so that way we can get the full synergy we did not but we got a little bit of uh we got a little bit of diversity now that we can pick and choose with uh the characters there's no real reason to sell anyone and grab an item uh there's nothing here that's gonna truly like just change the tide of battle so we're gonna take those off because in the next round we should be getting into the purple items and we do want to pick up one of those as fast as possible. After we do this next pull right here, our goal is getting items. So whether or not we win this one, our goal next is 100% getting more items. On this map right here, I like to place the character that I will have in the middle. And then I like to place the characters in the back on each of these sides. So because we already have a melee and we have another melee here and we're going to have our tank, um, we are going to pretty much not use her. Now the decision is going to be between him and him right here. Obviously this emblem right here, because we didn't use him last turn, means that he'll give us a little bit more uh, currency at the end of it. We'll wait to see what they put out, what team that they're building, if we want to uh, change it up pretty annoying they have Tamisia. she's obviously going to be coming to the back uh he is going to be healing this side so what we can do is um your command. Sir Lucius, we can seat. have him basically tank any damage that's going to be from the characters coming from right here she is going to move past and get to this back line no problem he should move up and get back here the goal is taking out this smoky as fast as possible i don't think this is a round i truly i don't think this is a round where we'll benefit from having him out there yet he doesn't have any items and he's gonna die pretty quickly uh in my opinion he'll probably die pretty quickly so i would say probably going with a little bit more sustainability um with salazar salazar um, that way we can just survive this side a little bit better. 
that's the reason I don't like talking and playing. I just ran out of time. Okay, I need to pay a little bit better attention to that. <laughs> but um, as long as we get our Carolina fast enough to get her ult, she's going to basically stop their healing, which gives us enough time to get everything else out. And we should ramp up uh, to finish it off, basically. Yeah, so we got them down. Boom, boom. Goal is getting Carolina some big girl damage, and she will get that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the point where we can get the ult damage increase. Okay, here we go. So we get a bonus right here. We can either grant all ally heroes 24 haste 30 seconds after battle starts when Carolina is alive. Or allied heroes with epic equipment gain 20 haste while, haste while uh, Carolina is alive. This one is better for late games, especially if you have very even teams where it allows pretty much ramp to happen. But because we want to win early, the goal is getting as many wins as possible. I'm going to go with this. It's the safer route. This one is good if you already feel like you are in a position to where you can get mythics very early. We only have one character at legendary, so it's not truly the safe the safe play to go with that uh, since Carolina is our mage we don't want to go uh, and put into another mage right now so we're gonna go ahead and grab this nice we got another <laughs> okay we got another one of him that's okay uh, we will get this for Cecia we can lock that we can make a decision on getting that for Cecia or not here we go that's exactly what we wanted Wow and we get another one of these so this one's going to give her a little bit more damage on her ult, which is what we want since she is our main focus. And we did end up getting a Thorin. That means Mr. Uh, Lucius here can go goodbye. So we do technically have enough to sell these two characters to grab us this to guarantee our CC gets more damage. Or we can sell those and we can get this, which guarantees that our Thorin survives a little bit longer. Or our Igor survives a little bit longer for end game. Igor surviving longer end game forces a lot of ties, uh, draws. And draws are important because there is some that you're just not going to win. And Igor is a god of pulling draws off. Uh, <laughs> pulling draws off. <laughs> nah, pause. Not like that. But allowing your team to get draws. So this is the thing that I was saying. Is some people say save everyone. Um, I am going to save him. But I'm, I'm probably going to end up selling um, her and probably end up selling him at some point. We're going to wait and see. We're going to be patient. We're going to wait and see. And we're going to go like this. We only have one item. Like I said, the next, the next goal is to get more items for the team. Good Lord, that poor dog. Some crazy eyes on him. Come on, Kyle. Treat your dog better. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so we are going to do something a little bit different and we're going to hunt for more currency and we're going to do something like this and then have two carries in the back. Yes. Okay. Okay. You're not even worth getting up for. We're going to go something. Oops. We're going to go something like this. Uh, Smokey's such a good healer, so as fast as we can take him out or allow her to get the ult off and get a little bit more damage, they synergize very well together because they're both AoE ults, and uh, her ult is very strong once we get her up, and then because uh, she's our carry, we just want to beef her up as fast as possible. We've gotten unlucky with getting some like uh, extra dupes of her so far, but we haven't lost yet. Um, this may be one where we're going to be in a situation that is not going to be good. Yeah, she's probably going to get taken out pretty quick without even being able to use an ult. Yeah, she's just not not uh, not beefy enough because the legendary jumped on her. And this this man ulted himself. He thought he was important enough to to ult himself. Okay, hold up. This may be different than what I was thinking. We, we may survive this. Yeah, it's looking like we may survive this. 
Oh, she just... Did she just lose her ult? That was interesting. We did not win that one. She, lo she lost the ult on her head. I'm kind of confused on that one. I'll have to uh, figure out what went on with that. But that... I don't know if that made sense to me or not. Increases damage dealt for two enemies away. This is a good one for Igor early on. As we saw, he was the last one alive. Um, so we will go ahead and lock that. We'll get rid of this one because we don't really want to go into that now. Okay, so we got two Igors. Looks like he's probably going to be like our true like secondary focus right now. We'll go ahead and lock both of these and just grab this. And we're going to have to use one of the melee characters to get a little bit more currency. We'll put that bad boy on Igor. And um, I'm thinking to go with Salazar because he just provides a little bit more value, in my opinion, than uh, what she provides right now at that kind of interval. I'm going to refresh this one more time just to see if we can get lucky and get one more one of these guys that we want to level up. We did. We got the Graveborn right there, so that is good to go. We'll go ahead and match back in. It, it like truly with some of these synergies where you already know what characters you want, you don't have to focus on getting so many different characters and teams and everything like that. And getting this to two stars doesn't always necessarily win you the game. It doesn't mean that you win the game because you get a two star of that. 90% of the ones that I go all the way through, I don't even get that to two star. It's usually sitting at one star. Another thing that it could be like a contrary belief. It could be people think differently. But in my experience, uh, that artifact is not always the thing that just wins me the games. It's not something that, oh, we're in another awful position with that. Okay. We're going to have them walk back a little bit. And uh, we may need to sacrifice him for that. So that way he's going to be taking that damage. Allow them to survive long enough. And we should be good to go on there. In this situation, also too, it, it's also good to kind of sacrifice her. They're going to stun. She's going to stun her, make that take a little bit longer. But he's just a tad more beefier with HP. So we're going to go with this. The reason I put Thorn back here is I, I want them to take a little bit more time, the melee, uh, to get up here. And it kind of brings them a little bit closer. We can even just go one step back. That way they kind of meet in the middle on our side. It gives our people a little bit more time to get into position. Again, a, lo a lot of times now, yeah, items are going to be a very big thing. They have an interesting synergy. They have three split synergy. Um, so we do have just more inherent stats, but is that going to be enough right now with no items? We shall see. Oh yeah, we got bursted down so damn quick. Yeah, this one's not a chance. That dude popping off back there. Freaking Viperian dude. That's all right. Now we're about to fill everyone with items. Everyone about to get items right now. So this is where it should get good. Yep. Let's. Holy crap. If we get. Yeah, we won't have enough off of this round, but. Let's see what we get here. Okay. Okay. Now we are good to go, man. We have all three of them locked. Uh, extra attack speed. No, we don't really want that. We don't really want that either. Actually, you know, man, we might just have to go the route of not grabbing items. I think that that may be the uh, best bet. Let's see. Oh, bro. If we can survive this round, okay, we, we're selling some people. We have to. This is this is this is a round we gotta sell some stuff. That's our core. That's what we're working with. Okay. We want our tank to survive, but we also want everyone else to survive in the back. Good lord, look at this, man. If this could have all been her, GG. 60? Yeah, we'll have enough 
we'll have enough next round to get all four of those. That'll give us a mythic. And we have to win this round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta survive this round. Draconov. Okay, we definitely going here. Battlefield screens are the most exquisite. All right. Can I show this item right here? Okay, here. So grants a shield equal to twelve percent of the character carrier's max HP every five seconds and taunts. So he's going to be taunting everyone to go towards him. That means that these people can start ramping over here. We don't want to put too many people next to him because Big Boy right here is going to start pushing. We also have to worry about his ult kind of being annoying as well. Um, I think it's almost safe to go something like this. Yeah, it's pretty safe to go something like this. If we can take him out and whoever else they put over here quick as possible, we should be good. That's one of those annoying teams where um, beat the, the Wilders are just, uh, uh, Maulers are just pretty annoying. They're pretty damn strong. Yeah, those, that, those freaking heals are insane. Oh, if we could take out that. Oh, get on that man. Oh, you jumped and turned around the wrong way, big homie. Okay. Oh, yeah, we in that thing now. Bro, we about to get a mythic Igor. Yo, is this dude is this dude soloing my team? Oh, I was about to say, bro, if this man soloed my team, I would have been pissed. How much did we get? 90. That's a mythic right there, baby. Uh-huh. Don't even look back. Just grab it. Just grab it. <laughs> just grab it right there oh yes yes sir the value of patience grants ally heroes haste we don't want that uh, we do want this obviously right there so this is the thing we just go right back in hopefully we can get the carolina upgraded item which just allows her to do more ult damage that would be great that would be huge actually all right this is a pretty pretty decent Everyone map right here for the team that we have it will allow us a little bit of room to to get everything going we have a mirror match we do have a mirror match and if i okay perfect that 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 works Igor should be enough to to definitely win this. She's going to get her ult off a little bit quicker. But this man is mythic, so he should be doing some big boy damage. That was a huge Carolina ult just right there in the back. I'd be interested to see if we can get the lifesteal item on Igor, then I think we should be set to like the last three matches where everyone starts getting mythics and everything. I want to see the damage output right now. Is this what victory feels like? Man, she's still outperformed. Obviously, she's the carry for the team, but she still outperformed him. Those AOE ults are crazy. All right, we definitely need items now. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm going to skip that. This one's good. This one is good. Look, if we get a CCF from here, 
we're gonna grab those two. Mm-hmm. Increases target's damage taken by 10% for 15 seconds when dealing ultimate damage. Stackable. We're going to hold on to that. We do want to get one item. Increase behind the carrier is defeated. Ooh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, yeah. That one's good. But not for anyone that we're using we're gonna go ahead and lock this actually we're gonna unlock that uh and lock this right here what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and grab this thorin right now we still don't have an item for our Cecia, but she is mythic so we should have no problem surviving that, that's what i guess the thing that i'm i'm, I'm trying to like make y'all understand is that it, it there's no one right way uh to do this it, it's all about strategizing with the items and the team and the relic that you have obviously those are the three things we want to strategize but in the order that you're getting them so as you can see we don't have a full set of items right now which is fine because we've been getting the characters which is just giving us inherent stats and a little bit more value and stuff like that into the team of what we're building our main character carry is still not built up all the way we still don't have like the full kind of uh synergy and everything to go into it but we have enough survivability to where our other uh characters are allowing for her to get ult off and, and her skills off and everything like this he's scary right there with this item but he's only an epic i'll be honest he's very scary with that item she also has the taunt as well no i have the taunt what am i i'm tripping that item is scary though that's a huge item for early on and i don't know why that that old damage one is on him but there it is Oh, bro, if we could take that Seth out early, I would be very happy. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, that was a huge ult. Good positioning. And there, and goodbye, sir. There we go. Goodbye, good sir. Goodbye. All righty, Mr. Salazar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We are 100% grabbing that. We'll grab both of these. Now we are fishing for what? For some more survivability or just an item for Cecia? Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to lock in an orange item for her. Uh, we will lock this. We are going to grab that right there. That should be good enough. We'll do this and we'll do this to give her more stats. We should be getting this one right here. Increase basic stats by 10% for all allies, allied heroes with epic equipment. Purple is purple is epic. Um, so we are getting base base stats on all of them except for salazar basically which next turn we should have enough to grab another purple equipment i'm gonna use this 18 right here to fish for some items to lock before we go into the next round and uh see what we can find uh this one's okay for him This one's good for like rogues that jump to the back line. Uh, this one is also good. We could, we could put this on her. She could switch out and, and get that over there. Ooh, we will lock that. All right, so these are the four right here. I feel comfortable with locking those. Okay, we already put the items. Let's dive right in. The reason that item I locked for uh, Carolina is good is because as soon as she ults, she's already got like half of her ult meter back up, which means she's about to ult again very quickly. 
self-explanatory. More ult she does, the less they get to move. Uh, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. And then we can just pick and choose if they put a rogue out already. They don't. Okay. This is scary. If they have an Eron Mythic, then we lose. Pretty much guarantee we lose. He's gonna basically use his ult right off rip. And this one right here is uh, they get bonus stats without equipment. So they don't have any equipment on them. You're not even worth getting off we the want to spread everyone out as much as possible in the back line in case they have that. I don't know if it's an instant to the middle or it just pulls them in for a certain amount of time. Okay, he's only legendary. We should be good then. We should be good. We will move on to the next round after this. Oh, God. He did get his ult off quick, though. I may have spoke too soon. I may have spoke way too soon. That might be it. Oh, that boy Igor putting in that work. Is he going to survive, though? Nah. I think that man's out of there. I don't think he's soloing her. Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. My man putting in that work. Oh, come on, Igor. Oh, that's it right there. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's so damn cl And that's what I was saying. This man pulls the draws off. <laughs> pulled the granny draws. Oh my God, that is hilarious. Exactly what I was talking about before. Good Lord. Okay. We get one more chance not to get slapped. Okay, what are we what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Yeah, I think everything is is as it should be. I don't think I can switch anything up item wise. That was wild, man. That that Wilder team is so cracked. Like if you guys just want easy mode, go Wilder every game. I promise you, go Wilder every game. Build your Parissa or build the uh homeboy with the hawk. I forgot his name, but yeah, build one of them and you're good to go. It's hilarious. Let's do this. Oh, that is disgusting. We 1 million percent need to take this man out ASAP. If we don't, we lose. I need everyone to focus him or we lose. That item is freaking crazy. He needs to die. Yeah, get him out of there, bro. He needs to die. That item is just too cracked. If he would have got that off, we would have lost. And that's the thing is you got to know the items. So read over each of the items in the shop, even if you're not going to buy them. Um, you know, maybe one item every single round so you don't, like, waste too much time. And you'll get more familiar with them the more you build characters with them and everything. Okay, like I said, we were going to get to these last three rounds, um, I felt... You know, there were some some dicey moments where I was uh, giving up hope, but <laughs> we got there without a doubt. Oh, okay. We got another mythic. Uh, do do do. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this for now, and hopefully we can get. This is a good item too. Stuns all enemies below Mythic for five seconds. Now the only problem is, is because we are in the late rounds, most likely um, they're gonna have some Mythic, so it's not gonna add as much value. If we would have gotten this item as soon as we got Igor to Mythic, where there was like no one having them, it would have been worth grabbing. But right now, because we're in the last three rounds, it's more than likely there'll be one or two every single fight. Um, so I'm going to refresh and I'm going to hunt for one more of him to get our fourth mythic, or we're going to hunt for the item that was just on that, uh, Viperion to try to get that. Uh, this is also a pretty good item. If you're going the Grugling mask, that one takes like 50% of their HP as soon as it starts. Oh, okay. Yeah. We don't have any more refreshes after this, so...
Hmm. Yes. I'm going to get these for him and hope and pray that we finish this battle a lot quicker than it taking too long because he's going to start getting very slow he has been truly just a meat shield right now uh if we've looked at like the stats and everything okay so we got another one where um they will not have equipment and if they do it's i don't know why but that's another one where we will not have equipment on the people to worry about so we can uh we can mix and match some stuff. We're going to bait this out, actually. We're going to bait this out right there. And probably put him there and then her somewhere down there. Um. Yeah, actually, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yep. There we go. Mmm, some split synergy going on. Oh yeah, that is that in a good spot. Oh, that damage is coming in. Come on, Cece, get that old off, girl. I just need one. There we go. See how she ulted three times this round, whereas before she was getting maybe one or two off every single time? Uh, that, that item right there made a big difference in regards to um, how much she was getting off. Bro, this Igor right here is insane. Bro, he's popping off. Look at all them damn buffs he's got. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, there is no damn way he beat me. All right, two more. We are looking to get our last two characters to Mythic. And there's that lifesteal item. Okay. We are 100% grabbing that. But we're going to hold it for now. Yeah, we're going to hold it for now. Uh, which one is this one blocks damage and restores 100% okay this one's good we're also gonna hold that we need 80 to get both of those if we want to do those if we get something of them before we get down to 80 uh, then we're gonna go all for one of them to get mythic if we get down to 80 we're just gonna grab those my thought process behind it unless another oh there we go okay unless another item comes up Uh huh. So we can reroll two more times. Nothing there. Okay. So that's kind of a waste. That's that's a 15 that we're just losing. But uh, we get a mythic and an item. So uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna waste that 15 and just do it anyways. There we go. We got 15 left over. We'll we got two more rounds left. So we'll, we're gonna roll see if we can get it, uh, her in position to be mythic or her item man that one's also good to put on uh igor but the one we got is i, I would say is probably best for igor with this kind of team comp uh-huh nothing that we want This one's good. We can we can lock that one for our boy. We'll unlock that one. And there we go. Okay, let's get these items where they need to go. Uh, we have less kind of equipment on people that we really care about. We would like her to ult a little bit quicker, so we're going to be doing this. Everyone else is, is good to go. We did not get the... Our carry is the last one. 
last one to get mythic. Thank you, game. I might do a second video um, for the next round. I think we're just going to do this one round in this video because it almost took an hour to do this. So, Everyone and explaining and everything like that. Here we go. We'll go ahead and get these in place. This will probably be one, one, let's see. Let's see what they have. They still got an epic, bro. Okay. A battlefield more mad. You're not even worth getting up for. Okay. Mmm. That boy's shooting them darts like Teemo, bro. Shooting them darts like Teemo. Yeet. Uh huh. Uh huh. Boy, Igor popping the absolute fuck off, bro. Oh my god. God, he was disrespecting them. This man, Igor, disrespected everyone just now. Holy cow. Can we get our, our main carry to Mythic? Or are they just, you know... Oh, they're like, here, take her item before you get her to Mythic. Um, Let's go. I mean, that's all we need. Or if we get the uh, attack damage for her. Nope. Okay, we already got the item of her. Yeah, let's not let's not mess up. Mm-hmm. Something in my mouth. Okay. We're locking that. We can get both, but we don't want to. If we get one more of her, we'll grab both. If we don't, we're grabbing this at 40. That's the plan. I make sure I don't roll over on accident. What was this one? Extends control effects. This one's also huge for uh, her as well. But I'd like to have that more damage. Ah, you know what? We're not. Yeah, hold on. Let's just let's just lock. Let's just lock those two. There we go. Boom. Okay. That's what we wanted. We're good to go now. Everyone, let's make sure everyone has their items. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm probably going to switch that back over just so she can ult quicker. I don't care about multiple ults because it's, the, the fight's going to be done quick. I, I guarantee it. Either I'm going to lose quick or they're going to lose quick. One or the other. This is, this is it right here. Mr. Venomous. Oh, you got that stash, big homie. And the horns. Okay. Everyone. Let Let's turn the us go. The most nah, we're not. No risks. No risks. Man, what is this team, bro? We about to disrespect these fools. Oh my goodness. What are they doing to this man? Poor him. Unless he throws out a mythic uh, Aaron, which uh, two tanks and a healer so far. What do they got? A mythic Cecia. Good night, Venomous. Thank you for that. Easy doves. Oh my gosh, she's shredding my Caroline though. Holy cow. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I'm so confused, bro. Those what just happened? Oh my gosh. We got slapped. We got slapped. I thought I was, he disrespected me after I talked all that shit. Bro had two two tanks, a healer, a Cecia, and a freaking Vala. Got slapped, boys. Boys and girls. How many points we get for that? 30 something? Yeah, we got 30 points. 
That was that was probably bad positioning on my part. Uh, that's what I would say. Is the Vala came out late, bad positioning. So we got up to rank five right now. We still got our uh, five goes for this, and then we got another ten in the uh, back right here. So we got fourteen more we can clear out today. Number one is at four fifty-seven or five fifty-seven. That's probably about what eight more matches, and we'll be there we should be there unless they play all 10 and get like really good pulls and everything like that we should be able to get up to uh number one or number two either tonight or tomorrow before we make the next video but anyways guys i hope y'all enjoyed that you're not gonna win them all and you're gonna get disrespected by epics and legendaries like i just did <laughs> so don't feel bad but please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we will be doing pretty much one honor duel or two honor duel videos every single day along with our free to play journey and any other videos that we do for afk journey thank y'all so much for stopping by and i'll see y'all in the next one